Well, hello YouTube, Intuitive Edge here. So, um, well, tonight's been a little bit interesting. I, <laughs> um, my studio down here um, is in a in the basement, and as happens with lots of basements, they seem to attract spiders. And normally, I don't, you know, I don't freak out with spiders. I try to leave them alone. If they're not bothering me, I don't bother them. I don't like killing spiders. Um, I don't like killing things at all. Um, <laughs> but, you know, sometimes you have to thin the herd when there's, like, too many of them. Um, <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a course of about 60 seconds, I killed three spiders. And the biggest one was getting to be about the size of a quarter. Um, so, <laughs> I don't take pleasure in that, in that, but I... You know, I don't like having to look over my shoulder and make sure nothing's crawling on me or, you know how that is. Um, <laughs> some of you are probably braver than I am. You know, you don't, you're not too squeamish. Some people are way more squeamish than me. I totally get that. Um, so anyway, uh, that was what I was doing a few minutes ago. <laughs> After I did, I did take some time out to meditate and pray. Um... But uh, the spider spider duty kind of took over. So anyway, <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> For tonight, um, I would like to do, I've been thinking a lot about um, Edward Snowden. Now, he's kind of come up in the news a little bit in some circles. Uh, people that I've been watching on YouTube are talking. He's kind of trending right now a little bit. Um... Now, I know people have different opinions, and most people by now have one opinion or the other. They either think he's a hero for what he did, um, and some think he's a traitor for what he did. Um, I kind of tended to be the former. Um, back, what was it, 2013? When was that? Anyway, um, whatever year it was, when, when he did that um, released... Um, basically intel from the NSA on how they spy on everyday Americans. Um, I kind of saw him as a hero at the time. I did. I, I'm no fan of big government. I'm really not a fan of, um, you know, spying. And, you know, if there's a whistleblower out there, uh, you know, more power to them. I, I think whistleblowers in many respects can be heroes. Um, uh, however, in in the recent in light of the recent Q anon post and some people that are going I don't know anymore, um, some are saying now that that actually what Snowden did was pretty damaging, um, and he might have been working for for the uh, not the I guess the dark side and not the good side. So I I don't know what to think at this point. Um, you know, was was he a hero? Was some are saying that that his release actually damaged um, the United States in, in in a real sense? So, um, I don't know. Was was he a white hat? Is he a deep state operative? So we're gonna look at at Edward Snowden. I I really don't. No, either way, I don't really care either way, but I'm curious what the tarot has to say. So we're going to look at um, who is he at his core. Because, uh, you know, what's in a person's heart and what's in their character will tell a lot. Um, how You know, how does he see himself? And um, why did he release the NSA intel? So were, was his motive some altruistic, benevolent, honorable? Was he really thinking that he, you know, was doing the right thing? I mean, you... Some people can do, you know, have in their heart that they're doing the right thing and they might not do the right thing. Doesn't mean that they were acting in a malicious way. Um, but on the other hand, did he knowingly team up with dishonest and malevolent forces? Um, was he knowingly dishonorable? So let's take a look at that and see what the tarot says. So I'm going to move my candle. All right, give me a moment while I shuffle up the cards, and we'll take a look at Mr. Snowden.
All right. Okay. Let's cut the deck. Let's see what we got here on Mr. Edward Snowden. So who is he at his core? So right off the bat, we have the death card. This is the card of, again, death in tarot, generally speaking, like 98% of the time does not mean literal death. It just means transformation in a very powerful, deep way, a life altering transformation. So he probably sees himself as a transformative figure. Um, or who is he at his core? He's, he, um, he may, well, obviously he is a very transformative figure. This is a, this is a reversal on that card, um, which could have some alternate meanings. Let's, let's, let's keep going here. See, okay, oops, I think I bumped the camera. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Okay, so how does he see himself? So, so on the first question, who is he at his core? We had this death card, which is like a kind of an ominous, transformative type of figure. Um, how does he see himself? Um, he sees himself as the good guy. Um, he sees himself as um, very much doing the right thing and being part of uh, what he considers to be um, a right and righteous cause. That's very literally. I mean, the sun card, how he sees himself, that's how he sees himself. Okay. Um, this is on the question of why did he do what he did? Why did he release the NSA intel? Um, was it, you know, um, this benevolent, honorable intent or was it dishonorable intent? Um, we've got a, this is kind of a loss card. This We've got the five of cups. This is a card of, uh, it's, it's being focused on an emotional loss. Let me look at this a little bit here. Generally with the five of cups, you're, you're obsessing over things that you've lost. You're despondent, um, inconsolable. So how does that apply? Um, and you're, you're, it's like you're in a destructive state of mind and you're, you're having a hard time focusing on the good that's around you because you're in the middle of something destructive. So let's keep going and see what this flushes out. I think there's more to this story. Who is he at his core? We've got the Page of Cups <laughs> on top of the Death card. Page of Cups is kind of a tricky card. It's it's a little bit tricky, a little bit fishy. Um, I don't I don't think he's completely um, a saint. I'll put it that way. When you've got the the fishy card, you're you've kind of got somebody who's a little bit um, kind of got something up his sleeve or hiding something a little bit shady. That's interesting. Okay, let's keep going. How does he see himself? Well, we got the sun card. Obviously, he's, oh, he sees himself as a messenger. He sees himself as a warrior um, sent out on a mission. He very much sees himself as moving into um, the realm of being a messenger, ac very active, so this seeing himself as the son doing good things, he's like, he sees himself as like a warrior, a messenger, um, bringing that to light. Okay. Um, so again, this is, this next card is why did he do what he did? Um, honorable or dishonorable? Um, this is, wow. We've got the nine of pentacles reversed. Generally speaking. Upright. Nine of Pentacles is a very positive card. It's you're, you're reflecting, um, val okay, Pentac Pentacles have to do with values, with money, with things we value. Um, and when you've got a reversal on the nine, um, 
it tell it this is kind of like this is not not a positive when it's reversed um and that on top of the five of cups with this um you know being focused on the negative and not the good and then you've got this this is kind of a a dis uh, it's, it's almost a destructive type of energy um especially to things of value so it's it's like not not taking into account um the value of something not 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 caring about the value being a little flippant or careless about things of importance okay that that's interesting all right let's keep going so who is he at his core? We're back to this question again. <sighs> all right. So trying to, so pulling this all together, we've got the death card, which is this transformative figure, but in a negative way. <laughs> um, we have this kind of tricky, something kind of hidden up the sleeve kind of feeling. Um, and then we've got justice, but it's reversed. Um, I, I, and this is, this is hard for me because I, you know, at, I, over the years, I've always thought that Mr. Snowden was, you know, one of the good guys, just, you know, being a whistleblower, that kind of thing. Um, but with the justice reversed, it's basically, I, I don't think that he's an altruistic, honorable intentions with, with, with who he, with who he is. I think he may portray himself or think of himself a little higher, but, but I don't think he's at his core, um, the wonderful warrior that he thinks he is, um, there might be a little bit of incongruence there between his, who he portrays himself and who he is on the inside. Um, okay, and how does he see himself again? Um, this is a card of waiting, for, waiting till the time is right. Um, being forced to wait or not feeling like you're, you're hemmed in and you're not able to, um, able to re release yourself the way you want to be. Um, it's a feeling of restriction. So he probably sees, and again, with where he ended up, um, Kind of having to live on the lamb, so to speak, so to speak, he probably very much does feel like um, circumstances are such that he can't be what he wants to be and do everything he wants to do just because um, there's kind of a price on his head. I think some people um, in the United States government would like to bring him back uh, just to uh, maybe question him, possibly detain him. Um, so I, I don't know. This is a this is a feeling of like restriction, feeling restricted. And and you have this person who has these wonderful aspirations about themselves with the sun, feeling like a like a, a truth warrior, so to speak, and feeling hemmed in. So um this is kind of the feeling of this is like feeling like a victim. Um he probably feels victimized. I, I'm just guessing here. Um that I, I'm, I think this is saying he feels like he's a victim of circumstance and it feels unfair to him. Okay, let's see what else we got. Why did he do what he did? Why did he release the intel? Um, honorable or dishonorable? You know, when you've got a messenger card and it's reversed, especially the Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords is a card of, you know, great energy moving forward. Um, but 
when you've got a messenger card of the mind that is reversed, um, I don't see this as a positive. Um, I, I just, I don't see that his connections or the release of what he did was uh, for the greater good, we'll put it that way. I'm not talking so much for the United States. Of course, the United States thinks that it, you know, the government itself says, oh, heck yeah, it wasn't good. You know, and I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about for the greater good, for, you know, was, did he team up with, with black hats, so to speak, bad people? Um, because he obviously had help. He didn't just do that on his own. Um, well, that's my opinion. <laughs> um, but, but to see the, the sword reversed, um, and the way the cards, the, the, the swords card, um, going back, th these two are like, the, the energy of these two cards are like facing each other. So this feeling of restriction is like feeding off of this um, kind of dishonest feeling on that card. So in looking back over this, um, it seems like he may not be completely honest with himself. There's a bit of a disconnect between who he is and who he thinks he is. Um, so he, he may be a little more shady than, than he lets on. Um, that kind of surprises me. Uh, you know, like I said, I, I thought he, um, was, you know, doing a good thing and was a good person, um, for what he did. And then when I heard some people question it, I thought, well, I don't know. Let's ask the tarot. <laughs> um, and the tarot seems to indicate that, you know, he may not be the hero that, that many people want to think of him as. Um, so I guess, I don't know, maybe that gives a little more credence to what Q is saying. It seems to kind of line up with the, the Q post on Snowden. Um, overall, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new beginning card. Um... What is this saying? So there may be some more revelations coming. Um, I think there may be, Mr. Snowden may And again, I wasn't, um, I wasn't anticipating doing any kind of prediction with him, but I just, I see this card as, as an opportunity to, in the future, move into a new phase and move like he's going to be pressed to make a decision, um, and it's kind of like being forced down a path. And sometimes fate, destiny, just the cause of life, you don't really have, and we, we always have choices, but sometimes things pull us in such a way that, that we really kind of, if you're between a rock and a hard place, you, you don't really have anywhere to go. You just kind of have to go where, where you're being led. Um, you may have to make that choice to move where he's being led. Um, he may have to um, move with the choices that are put before him. And 
it may not exactly be where he, what he wants to do. Uh, this could tie in with this feeling of restriction, um, being kind of hemmed in and feeling like a victim. Um, I, th I think I think he's going to have to face some face some music consequence or something. He's I I just I feel this 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 image with him kind of having nowhere to go, and this is what you got to do. You gotta, you gotta pay the price or go this direction for now. Um, see where it takes you. Um, he may kind of come to that kind of crossroads where it's like, you know what? I, I, I really don't have a choice. I gotta, I gotta do this. Um, so, and, and that may kind of be forced upon him a little bit. Um. I think on the other side of it, um, things will take a turn and be a little different. Um, that's just how I see it. Kind of running, kind of like running out of options. Got to make a choice. Got to make a decision. Um, Got to move this way. And it, there's kind of no other really option that I, it's like, you got to go this way. And hope for the best. That's kind of how, how he's probably going to see it. Um, it doesn't feel as terrible, you know, like like a horrible thing. It's just sometimes you just have to kind of own up. And it's just the feeling I get. It's like this path. Like he's, I don't, I don't mean to belabor that point. It's just something really strong I'm seeing with this card. So he may, he may have to, uh, you know, maybe he'll strike a deal with the, the USG, <laughs> US government. Um, I don't know. Um, but he may have to, uh, go down a road. Maybe he's not too thrilled about, but it's kind of like, what else is he going to do kind of thing? So that's, that's what I see with that. Okay, guys, that's all for this video for now. I appreciate you stopping by. Um, hope you like my videos. If you do, give a like, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.